Suhardo, born in June 8, 1921, in Kamusa Argamulja, Java, Dutch East Indies now Indonesia. Died January 27, 2008, Jakarta, Indon. Army officer and political leader who was president of Indonesia from 1967 to 1998. His three decades of uninterrupted rule gave Indonesia much needed political stability and sustained economic growth. But his authoritarian regime finally fell victim to an economic downturn and its own internal corruption. After graduating from high school and working briefly as a bank clerk, he joined the Dutch colonial army and then, after the Japanese conquest in 1942, switched to a Japanese-sponsored home defense corps, receiving training as an officer. With Japan's surrender in 1945, he fought in the guerrilla forces seeking independence from the Dutch. By the time Indonesia became a republic in 1950, Suhardo had distinguished himself as a battalion commander in central Java and achieved the rank of lieutenant colonel. Over the next 15 years he rose steadily through the ranks of the Indonesian army, becoming a colonel in 1957, a brigadier general in 1960, and a major general in 1962.I in 1963 Suhardo was routinely appointed to head the Army Strategic Command, a Jakarta-based force used to respond to national emergencies. Indonesia's leader, President Sukarno, had meanwhile cultivated close ties with the Indonesian Communist Party, also called PKI and with China, but the army had remained strongly anti-communist. On September 30, 1965, a group of disgruntled left-wing army officers and some PKI leaders tried to seize power in Jakarta, killing six of the army's seven senior generals. Suhardo was one of the highest-ranking officers to escape assassination, and, as head of the strategic command, he led the army in crushing the coup within a few days. Sukarno was suspected of complicity in the coup, and power now began to shift to the army. In the following months, Suhardo directed a purge of communists and leftists in public life. And his example was followed in exaggerated form by vigilantes in a grand massacre of communists throughout the country in which hundreds of thousands lost their lives. Suhardo, by now army chief of staff, took effective control of the Indonesian government on March 12, 1966, though Sukarno remained nominal president for another year. Suharto banned the PKI and began formulating new policies to stabilize the country's economy and political life, which had approached the brink of chaos in the last years of Sukarno's rule. In March 1967 the People's Consultative Assembly appointed Suharto acting president, and in March 1968 it elected him to a five-year term as president. Though he was careful to follow constitutional forms, Suharto's government was basically an authoritarian regime based on the power of the military, which insinuated itself deeply into every branch of the government and the economy. As head of the armed forces and the government, Suharto maintained complete control of the country's political life. His government-sponsored political party, Golkar, repeatedly scored landslide victories in elections to the People's Consultative Assembly. And that body in turn re-elected Suharto unopposed to the presidency in 1973, 1978, 1983, 1988, 1993, and 1998. Civil liberties were restricted, and little dissent was tolerated. 